pushy, 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 famous versus underrated slime shop review. Today we are going to be reviewing Peachy Babies, Slime Obsidian, and Slimy Palettes. So I hope that you guys like today's video. I have been taking your guys' requests. We have Rainbow Playmaker coming, Momo Slimes, Parakeet Slimes, Snoop Slimes, and so many more slime shops coming. So if you guys have more suggestions, comment them down below. I am always reading your comments and taking your guys' suggestions. And for today's post notification shout out, there are four of you guys, and the first one goes out to Tiny Eyes, Janie King, Cortland the Gamer Anderson, and Kylie Paul. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on, and if you guys wanna get a shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe, and comment down, down below when you've done that. And I think that's about it for this intro, so let's just get right into the first Slime Shop review. Woo! For our first famous slime shop review, we have the one, the only Peachy Babies. This slime came nicely bubble wrapped and packaged in a box. So I ordered a six ounce of blueberry muffin cup. She also included a business card with borax and a lollipop, which was kind of shocking because you see, Peachy Babies and I go way back and she never used to provide extras, so that was nice. So quick intermission, let me just spill some tea about our girl Peachy Babies. So I made a video about two years ago and it was just me reviewing her slimes. I didn't say anything bad about her slimes and the video went pretty viral. It took off and it has like 840 something thousand views which is insane. But she ended up blocking me on my personal Instagram and my slime Instagram. And fast forward two years, I'm still blocked but you know what? I'm going to support my girl and throw my dollar at her because I don't spread hate. I always spread positivity on my channel, and... That's that. So, end rant. And back to our scheduled programming. I paid $13 for the slime, and shipping was $5.99, so it came to $18.99 for six ounce, which, in my honest opinion, I thought was a little bit pricey. But anyways, I love the aesthetic look of this slime. And I also love how it was topped off with blue foam beads just to complete the look. So this slime had a very nice blueberry scent to it. It's not overpowering or anything, it's perfect. And I also really love the texture of this slime. I've never purchased a cloud slime from Peachy Babies before, so it was a nice change. This felt more like a cloud dough because it was more dense, but I really like the texture of it. It did have a small amount of snow fallout, but nothing I would take points off for. So I'm going to rate this one a 9.5 out of 10. I really loved everything about this slime, but $18.99 seems just a little bit steep for a six ounce slime in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Next up, we have an eight ounce of Pegasus Treats from Slime Obsidian. This slime was nicely bubble wrapped and they included their business card and an airhead as well. And this is exactly what I got in my last package, which is so funny. This slime came nicely labeled and the container feels so nice and heavy duty. I'm not sure what kind of container they use, but it almost feels like a plastic glass like container. So this slime was $13.99 and shipping was $5.24. So the total came to $19.23, which compared to Peachy Baby's six ounce slime, this one is definitely at a better price point and you get more slime. So I definitely think it's reasonably priced. And the scent of this slime is so good too. It's like a sour cotton candy scent. It smells delicious. And this slime also came topped with pink, blue, and purple marshmallow foam beads. It also has various sprinkles mixed into it. The aesthetic is really nice. I really love the texture of this slime so much. It's so thick and holdable, and it also has amazing bubble pops, and it's great for poking too. It's overall a really good slime, and I'm going to rate this one a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next famous slime shop, we have a slime from Slimy Palettes. This one it came nicely bubble wrapped as well and they included their business card and some candies as extras. 
So I purchased a six ounce container of Totoro's Secret Garden. They also included a few extra charms and I really like how they package these separately so you could put them in yourself, which was the best part. So this slime was $9.99 and shipping was only $3.50. So my total was $13.49, which I was shook over because I thought this slime was going to be like $20. They put so much effort and detail into coming up with this slime idea. I tried putting all the charms in as best as I could. I really did not want to ruin this slime, but the show must go on, people. So this slime was a little bit sticky. I did have to add in a little bit of activator, but after I did, the texture was really nice. And this slime is really so clear. I was surprised that even after I activated this slime, it took a while for it to fog up. It was still pretty clear for a while. And by the way, this one was unscented. The texture of this clear slime is amazing though. It has some really nice bubble pops and it's great for poking as well. I really love this one a lot and I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. So this next slime is actually an underrated slime shop that I purchased from. All the other underrated slime packages in this video were sent to me except for this one. This slime is from Borderline Slimes and it caught my eye on Etsy because it's a push pop slime which is so cool. They included a slime care sheet, Fimo slices, candy, and a little activator bottle. The slime itself was nicely bubble wrapped and this is called Sweet Sea Dreams Push Pop. So this is a layered cloud slime and it came topped with an adorable narwhal charm and sprinkles. It had a light lavender scent to it, which I really liked. This cloud slime felt more light and on the drier side than typical cloud slimes. It definitely wasn't a drizzly one, but it still had a really nice texture. I paid $7 for this slime and shipping was $3.50, so my total was $10.50. This is approximately a four ounce slime, so I definitely think the price is great considering all the extras and the cute packaging of this slime. I really love the concept behind the slime and the texture. It was so aesthetic and something different, so this one is getting a 10 out of 10. These next few slimes were sent to me by Pineapple Slimery. They sent me a huge container of borax, which was really nice. And they sent me a total of five slimes, but I'm only going to show three of them because otherwise we're gonna be here all night, people. So we have a six ounce slime here, and I love their sticker logo on the lids of the containers. These slimes didn't come labeled with the names of them, and there wasn't a note or anything, so I'm not really sure what this one's called, but it's a pink and green layered slime. And the slime had some kind of brown color on top. I wasn't really sure what it was at first, but then I smelled the slime and it had a light mint chocolate scent to it. So that kind of makes sense. This definitely felt like a cloud cream. It was super creamy and spreadable. I really like how it turned into a light pink color too when it was all mixed together. I like this one a lot and I'm rating it a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have a butter slime, my fave. The colors of this slime separated just a little bit and it was a little bit sticky, but after I activated the slime and mixed it together, it felt just like new. This butter slime felt so soft and it was smooth and spreadable. It also had really good bubble pops. The only thing I did not like about this slime was the scent. It kind of had a chemical scent to it mixed with a light cookie scent. It made the slime less enjoyable to play with, but other than that, this is a great butter slime, so I'm rating this one a 9 out of 10. And the last slime from Pineapple Slimery is this light mint colored slime. I did have to reactivate this one as well, but after I did, the texture was perfect. The slime is so thick, it definitely had a glue all texture to it. It had great pokes and bubble pops. I really just didn't like the scent of this one either though. I'm not really sure what the scent was, but it kind of smelled like spoiled milk a little bit. Other than that, I really like the texture though, so I'm rating this one a 9 out of 10 as well. 
And the last underrated slime shop we have is Blossomberry Slime. They sent three four ounce slimes that were nicely bubble wrapped and their business card, along with a little racket toy, which I've seen all over Instagram and an adorable narwhal squishy. I also love the look of their logo. It looks so professional and cute. This first slime is called BFF. This was a marbled pink and purple cloud slime with chunky purple glitters. And it also had fine blue glitters in it as well. This cloud slime felt dense and it wasn't super drizzly. It definitely had more of a cloud dough like texture. It really didn't have too much fallout either, which was really nice. I really love the scent of this one. It almost smelled like Slime Obsidian's Pegasus Treats. It smelled like a sour cotton candy. It smelled so good. So I'm going to rate this one a 10 out of 10. And next we have Sleepy Unicorn, which is a clear fishbowl slime. The slime seems pretty basic, but all of the rainbow heart sprinkles and star sprinkles just give this slime such an aesthetic look. And I also love the unicorn flatback charm they included. I don't typically buy fishbowl slimes, and I really don't know why, because this slime was amazing. This slime is so clear and crunchy, like crunch level is out of this world. It also has such nice bubble pops because of all the fishbowl beads. This slime came unscented and I really loved it so much. 10 out of 10. And lastly, we have Donut Shop. Again, I love the appearance of this slime. This is a micro floam slime that came with pink and white circular pieces to represent the donuts, as well as rainbow sprinkles. The texture of this slime was perfect. It was so crunchy and there was the perfect amount of slime to floam ratio. This also had incredible bubble pops because of all the foam pieces. The scent definitely reminded me of a donut shop too. It smelled like jelly donuts. It smells so good. I was just really impressed by Blossom Berry Slimes and definitely recommend them. 10 out of 10. Great job. And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Make sure you guys hit the red subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more fun videos. We have more slime videos coming. We have an Easter restock video and my shop will be restocked with Easter slimes. We're going to be Easter baskets. So many goodies and extras included in this restock. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.